A very, very good Wednesday morning to you. Uh, it is a dreadful, miserable, awful day here in Manchester. More like our normal weather, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, great clouds as far as the eye can see. And it's been raining overnight. So, back to the norm. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, no video yesterday. Very busy day yesterday, unfortunately. Um... What I want to do this morning, I've had a, a request, uh, as the title suggests, from uh, one of my subscribers, um, Purple Haze 5995 um, who has asked me to do a, uh, a review uh, on my Parnis Big Pilot, which is the uh, watch uh, I referred to uh, regard at the beginning of my uh, video to Mac Cady regarding the uh, watch uh, video channels. Um, he, he wants to basically um, see a full review because he thinks the, the watch is worthy of a review, even though it is a, a homage to the IWC Big Pilot. So I'll start off the video basically by saying, um, if the IWC Big Pilot appeals to you, uh, unlike most of us, you haven't got the money to buy yourself the IWC Big Pilot, then maybe uh, the Parnis that I own, uh, which I bought when money uh, was relatively non-existent is perhaps the answer. So let's get right on to it. What I'll do first, um, I'll show you the, the watch again so you know exactly what we're talking about. There she is. Can we get rid of the glare? Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, it is uh, the Parnis. It is one of a couple of Parnis that I own, to be honest. Um, it's a, for me, it's a great watch. It, it, it's um, a beautiful watch to wear. It is bang on accurate. I mean, it really, really is accurate. And it's a good uh, meaty piece. If you like to feel um, a watch on your wrist, something like this is, is the order of the day. Um, so if we go kind of through the details, obviously it's a it's actually a black dial. Uh, a lot of people I've seen describe this as a, a dark grey, but for me, um, no, it is, it is black, uh, it's got obviously the word Parnis uh, under the pyramid at the 12, and just below the uh, second hand and above the 6 there, it's got the word uh, automatic. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful black dial, it's got um, great loom on all the indices, um, it's got great loom on the triangle and all the numbers and the fingers, uh, they've got beautiful sword hands and that beautiful, beautiful sweeping needle six second hand there, uh, which for not such an expensive movement actually is actually very, very, very smooth. Let me hold this up for you. Look at that. There is very little tick as it were with that sweeping finger that is just gorgeous um it's it's basically got as you saw a a, a single date window uh, at the three it's 47 millimeters it says a chunky chunky old piece <coughs> excuse me <coughs> 47 mil uh it's 50 mil lug to lug and it's 25 mil between the lugs um, and it's also turn it around the other way for you 15 mil thick so it, it stands fairly high and it's got an ever so slightly domed crystal now I think it's a mineral crystal if I remember rightly as is the exhibition back which is also a mineral crystal it's got some lovely guichet work on the actual rotor which you can probably see it's a gorgeous gorgeous piece and a, a full screw down back of obviously given its uh, full water resistancy it's a 25 dual movement um, it is a variant uh, of the seagull st2551 movement now there's lots of variants out there um, there is this one 
There is one with no date. There is one with a, uh, a sub-dial over at the 9. There's one over here. I think there's even one with a, a stretched movement with a sub-dial for the seconds at the 6. Um, there are some um, that have a GMT. Uh, lots and lots of different variants of this movement, giving it a fair bit of flexibility. Um, now, I do know that... Um, there are lots of people out there who will decry uh, the Siegel movement. To be perfectly honest with you, um, for as long as I've owned this one, and it must be for about 14, 15 months now, I think, um, it's not Mr. B. <coughs> it is a lovely watch to wear and, and a great timekeeper. Um, it's 21,600 BPH. Uh, it does have a hacking movement. Uh, so obviously, uh, if you're new to some of these terms, the hacking movement, of course, is uh, when you're adjusting the time, uh, the second finger actually stops uh, until you push back in and screw in the crown. Um, it's got about a 45 hour power reserve. Now, in the spec, it does actually say it's 48 hour. Um, I've never found it to be so, but then again, it's never off my wrist for that period of time. If I'm not wearing the watch, um, it's in my winder. So, the, the, the power reserve to me um, is a little bit academic, which, you know, heads into the video that Sam and Crane made and, and, and my reply video to him that power reserve, bit of a gimmick. You know, bit of a gimmick. Um, the strap is, as I mentioned the other day, this gorgeous, thick, buffalo leather strap. It is mock proc. And it's got these gorgeous two stud rivets, just as the uh, IWC Big Pilot has. And it has lots and lots of adjustment, as you can see, for the deployment clasp. And the deployment clasp is a good chunky piece of pressed steel. I have seen worse deployment clasps on expensive watches. It's a great piece of kit. Um, I say it's 300 meter rated, um, which is probably you know 295 meters deeper than I'll ever go. Um, I know from different forums and different reviews of this watch and of this movement that some people complain it's got a noisy rotor. Um, well, if you listen to the rotor when you spin it round, yes, you can hear it. Um, it sounds just like a little bit of a noisy bearing. It, you know, when it's on your wrist, obviously the noise is subdued by it being next to your wrist. And if you're picky enough to pull this watch apart because it's got a little bit of a noisy rotor, then go out and spend, you know, your seven, eight, nine, ten grand or whatever it is on the IWC Big Pilot because uh, it is a, main, a minor, minor thing where this watch is concerned. Um, for me, I do agree that the rotor is a little bit noisy. Does it bother me? No. Why doesn't it bother me? Because I spent 70 quid on this. 70. Um, and I think you are getting um, hundreds of pounds of value in this watch. I really do. I love, I love wearing it. Um, and as with my uh, Marina Militaire, my FIDI that I have, um, if either this or that was the only watch I had to wear, I would be quite happy to wear either one constantly. Um, I think what, what, what I'm saying with this is, of course, it's, it's not got as good a movement as the IWC Big Pilot. It doesn't cost as much as the IWC Big Pilot. It's put together in China. Now, you know, we all know that China turn out massively numbers of multiple variants of watches and movements etc so maybe their construction standards are not the same as the big Swiss watch makers but for the price the quality that I've seen in this watch is absolutely fantastic and if you've got that yearn to get the version of this made by IWC but you can't afford the IWC price tag then until you can but you want the feel of that watch on your wrist go for this because it's a great piece of kit. It really is. It's something that I think um, you could wear every single day. 
without any worries of it being not scratched, uh, bound in any way. It's got a gorgeous brushed stainless steel finish. I suppose if you wanted to, you could polish that yourself and bring it to a shine. But I'm actually not too sure why you would. And one of my favourite parts, as I mentioned on my previous video, is that chamfered crown. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And obviously it's made um, in that size and that shape with the chamfers on it. Because in the old days, in World War II, when the bomber pilots, etc. were wearing big watches and it was so cold at high altitude, they could feel their crown. That's the reason it's so big. So, there you go. That's my Parnis Big Pilot IWC Big Pilot homage. Great watch. I hope this has been satisfactory for you, Purple Haze. Um, look forward to your comments. I'm sure I will get some decriers um, of um, homages or, as people like to call them, fakes. Um, they're not fakes. Uh, if it was a fake, it would say uh, IWC uh, on the dial and it would say made in China on the back. It is a little nod to IWC to say good job boys we don't have the availability of your movements but we can make a watch that looks something like yours because we love the way yours wa your watch looks. So there you go the Parnis Big Pilot good value for money I think you can still get them for sub um, £100 pounds. Um, the new versions do have the uh, second sub dial to the second movement uh, at the bottom there and it looks fantastic some even have one at the nine where am I there they have a sub dial there which looks absolutely brilliant they also do one with a midnight blue dial god it is gorgeous see if you can find them on the internet it is worth a good look at and if you're looking for a good quality beta watch and I think this is so much more than a beta watch try a parnis you won't go far wrong anyway that's it for this one um, hope you liked it <clears throat> hope you found the review a little bit interesting let me have your comments uh, I appreciate when I get some that say oh, I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole who's got a barge pole these days um, any, any questions comments suggestions as always down below any queries down below if this is your first time here and you think this is quite interesting have a look at my last stuff and see what you think and if you feel you want to subscribe it would be great to see you in the list so for now that's it for this one i'll speak to you soon bye bye